Yo, hi, kamusta? Arvin again, back with another technical analysis video for BTC USD. So, sana okay kayo dyan. Ingat kayo lagi. Anyways, um, ito na nga. What's going on with BTC? Uh, yeah, we're currently at 11,720. Okay, um, kanina umaga, we were at around... Uh, mataas tayo kanina umaga, nag-11.8 tayo kanina. So, what I did earlier uh, was I plotted a swing high, a swing low to swing high. Okay, i-replot na lang natin. Teka, punta tayo ng iba kong chart. Dito, blanco pa ba siya? Yung mga possible na pwede mangyari, no? So, andito ako ngayon sa 1-hour chart. So, obviously, uptrend tayo, di ba? Kasi... EMA rule, 200 EMA rule. Anything above the 200 EMA rule, we look for long position opportunities, right? So we look for pullbacks, and then we look for confluence support. So if it's an uptrend, you buy at support, okay? So we have here the previous peak earlier this morning, 5 a.m., okay? And then we dumped to 11.5. Okay, so this was uh, 11.799, dumped to 11.5, uh, 6 a.m., and then went back up 11.8, uh, sakto. Now, that's the, wait, that, that, that's most likely gonna be the resistance, diba? That's the swing high. Now, if you go back up, uh, if you go back to a, if you go into a smaller time frame, that's where we're gonna be wanting to look for a re-long position since again, we're going in the uptrend. Itong red line na to, ito yung EMA 200. Itong white line, ito yung EMA 50. Now, as you can see, they're still farther apart so that means the trend, uptrend is still going strong. Also, it helps with the stochastic as you can see and then medyo malakas. Though, kung i-replay -re natin, i-hide natin yung candle simula nung kaninang umaga dito, okay, medyo mukha na siyang Uh, overbought and then may divergence pa pwede pa siyang bumaba i mean like para na siyang bearish but since nasa taas pa din okay ng ng 200 EMA we look for longs okay now since we saw that earlier okay ang nangyari ang nangyari gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo is nag swing high tayo kung bababa tayo ng 15 minute okay nag swing high tayo dito ito yung swing low natin so that's gonna be of course our area of support. Now, obviously, which is true naman kasi dahil ito yung area ng support natin. Ayan. We have that support zone here. Okay? So that's that rectangle over there. That's our support zone. The support cannot be just one line. It's an area. It's a range of uh, prices. Okay? So, ayan na yung area of support natin. Also, resistance dito. Okay, but as you can see, meron tayong wicks kasi na tinatawag, de, di ba? So, kung, kung ang wick kasi, ibig sabihin, may strong buy pressure dyan na kinontra yung sell pressure. So, we could also plot that as, you know, as a support area, okay? So, there you go. So, we know for a fact that this is a swing low, itong wick na to, okay? So, again, trend, uh, trend, uh, what do you call this? Uh, trend confirmation sa 1 hour, which is uptrend, and then execution sa 15 minute for a day trader, for a scalper, or what not. So, day trade na siguro to. Balikan nga natin yung trading natin para lang sure. Yung ating classification of traders. So, eto. So, early ang trend, scalp na pala to, 15 minute ang execution. So, ayan. So, we know this for sure as the swing low. This was the support. And we know for sure this was the swing high. Now, kung nandito kayo, obviously, meron kayo may ikitang bearish divergence dito at nasa resistance na din. Uh, earlier in time, kanina umaga, kung, kung nandito kayo, kung na-splat na, 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 na nyo yan. So, pwede na yan maging uh, confirmation that this could be the end of the swing high. So, we're gonna be looking for a pullback. Now, we're gonna wanna look for that beautiful pullback so we could make the re-entry to the uh, 0.618 fibs na ipaplot natin from swing low to swing high. ba? Diba? So, it does make sense. Though it's not 618, we could also go in sa 786. So, those are area. 
areas of entry. Diba? Itong tatlong to. Okay, they could actually be, actually, apat sila eh, But it would be best to enter within these areas. Okay? Ayan. Yan yung, yan yung magandang entry area zone natin. By zone. Which did prove, no? Na magiging magandang by zone nga. So, if that's for the bullish position, that's the, for the bullish entry, kung nakapasok kayo kaninang umaga dyan, eh, di okay, good, maganda. Hold nyo na lang hanggang ma-reach tong area na to. Which actually, it already did. It it it, it reached the 0.5 extension, which is the 0.12 fibs sa retrace, okay? Ito, correlated to, oh, corresponding to sa 0.5, itong 0.12 uh, extension to fib retrace. 0.12 is equal to 0.5 extension, okay? So, ayan, nag-retest siya, na-reject siya dyan sa resistance na yan. Okay, na-reject siya dito. Now, it's doing a retest. Okay, it's doing a retest. Okay, there you go. Now, if you could notice, okay, meron tayong mga wave na ganyan. Mukhang Elliott wave structure na yan, 1, 2. Then, if you could go a 1, 2, 3, okay, if you're gonna break this box here, okay, ang mangyayari, Swing low to swing high, same lang. So it's a smaller fractal of the bigger fra of the bigger pattern, di ba? So we entered here. Kung gusto kung na late na kayo, kasi ang magiging target natin ito eh. Ito yung magiging ito yung magiging maximum target natin, kasi ito yung wave three, ito ang buong box na to. Okay, is 12k, 11k to 12.1. All right, all right. So there you go. Kung sa kaling mabasag natin ito, ang unang natin kailangan basagin ito. Okay, itong area na to. 111751. Alright, okay, so this is the 15 minute. Right, now, if you look at the 10 minute, alright, you're at, you're clearly seeing a divergence here, which confirmed this buy entry at the 618786 zone here. Nabibilugang ko. Okay. Ito. Ito yung buy zone. Stops would be 11620, Something like that. Okay? Now, that's for the long position. The targets would be this one here and then this one here. If not naman, it could be these areas here. Okay? Or these areas here. Like, kung hindi na siya kayanin ng bulls. But again, if we're gonna look at the longs versus shorts. Okay, longs versus shorts. Uh, aggregated natin na chart. Okay? Malakas pa ang bears sa 4 hour chart natin however sa 30 minute malakas na ang ay hindi mahina pa din tayo mostly bearish pa lahat okay mostly bearish pa lahat but still we st we, we we stick with the plan okay but if this does not happen okay i'm going to i'm going to show you the bearish uh perspective of things no so same thing lang kung hindi na kayanin mabasag tong area na to okay ang mangyayari is we could Mag be magneted down to this uh, moving average uh, 200. Okay, that's the 10 minute. Now, we're gonna go check the 15 minute again. Okay, now we're gonna look, okay, at the swing high, swing low for a bearish uh, entry. Okay, bearish entry, ito. Swing high, swing low. Possible targets, balik ng 11.6, first target, 11.580, second target, Third target is 11,485. So, that's the bearish zone. If ever we go back down to this range, or to this price level here, dito sa area na to, pwede din dito. But stop losses would be 11,815. Okay, above this uh, swing high zone. Because if we break, if we break this uh, swing high, this higher high, okay, it's possible we could go back up dun sa ating, ano, targets dito sa taas. So, there you go. There you have it. Yan yung ating bullish and bearish perspectives kay BTC. And, yeah, once again, uh, Arvin here and ingat kayo lagi. Peace.